stop when you're down. Best words of wisdom is don't be like, like him. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know where you got that from. <laughs> I met Jaws' dad the other day. He was cool as hell. He goes, I heard a lot of gnarly stories about you, man. I go, oh, this ride's really gonna suck. It's gonna be like six hours. He goes, well, you want some acid? <laughs> I'm like, what? You know, when your parents give you like the, the drug talk or whatever, he's like, all right, Aaron, listen. Now I've done probably, I mean, not every drug, but a lot of them. And I'm just telling you, you can do it once, but that's it. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I guess yeah. that's the best rule of life. <laughs> no. Uh, uh. So we played pool. <laughs> all right, he was sober and I was sober too. And uh, I beat him like three times in a row for dollar games. And then he basically uh, got pretty drunk and then we played. And I was like, all right, I'll put down, we'll put down $5 in this game. And then he beats me. And then so now I'm down like 10 bucks. So I was like, all right, I want to win it all back, 10 bucks. Beats me again, so then I'm down 20. And I was like, all right, $20. He beats me again, and I was like, all right, this is stupid. I'm going to win all my money back. I put like $40 on that game. I was my break. I miss everything. And then he just sweeps the table, and like, I don't even get a chance. And then Matt came over, and he's like, all right, you played for 100. I want to play you for 100. I was like, I think I might be able to take him. And then I lost. I'm down $230 in 10 hours. I'm done. Even though probably tonight, I'll probably put down some money. Dude, I'm not going to. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're on an iPad trip to Thailand. The first night, we kind of laid mellow, and then the second night, we uh, we went pretty big. We're all just at the bar. We all get pretty hammered, and then we all get in the taxi cab back, and we're like, we're like, where's Freddy? Nobody can find Freddy. It's probably like 2 a.m. We go back to the hotel, and he's like, all right, I'm sure he'll show up soon. Ends up being like 6 in the morning. Everybody's tired, just waiting for him. Still hasn't showed up, and then so we're kind of all freaking out. Next morning, wake up at about 11 o'clock. He's still not here, and so we're pretty, we're like actually pretty scared. Another hour passes by. It's like 12 in the afternoon. We see Freddie just come in the hotel with no shirt on, with no, with he has one sock on. And, uh, I wish this some gnarly shit, man. <laughs> Seriously, like the gnarly, one of the gnarliest things that ever happened to me. Our heads like split like really bad. You guys aren't gonna believe this. I just saved lives. <laughs>